Arsenal transfer news and rumors, Fresh Costa news, Arthur Insight. With just two weeks until the January window closes, Arsenal are stepping up their transfer plans. The Gunners are persisting with their pursuit Fiorentina forward Dusan Vlahovic and Mikel Arteta is desperate to address the growing midfield shortage in his squad. Arsenal have tabled a bid for Vlahovic, and technical director Edu is desperately trying to find more options for the central midfield position as Arteta tries to cope with a midfield crisis. With Arteta hit by a series of absences at the heart of his team, Arsenal have been linked with moves for Arthur Milo, Jorginho Wijnaldum, Bruno Gimaris and Yauri Tielmans. There could be further outgoing at Emirates Stadium, and the future of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang remains uncertain, after he was stripped of the captaincy before Christmas. Sponsored here are the latest Arsenal transfer news, rumours and gossip, a move for the former Chelsea man remains unlikely at this stage, writes Simon Collings. While the former Spanish international had been linked with a move to the club, it seems he could instead join Corinthians. You can read more from Simon here. Dusan Vlahovic Arsenal are pressing ahead with an ambitious move for Vlahovic and are said to have bid pounds 50 million and offered Lucas Torreira as a makeweight in the deal. Sources in Italy claim Fiorentino are ready to sell Vlahovic as he refuses to sign a new contract. Arsenal hope their cash plus player offer will be enough to secure a player who has been one of the most prolific strikers in Europe this season. Vlahovic, who has 24 goals in 30 appearances this season, is due to be in action again on Monday night, when Fiorentina take in Genoa and Serie A La Repubblica in Italy claim his agents are demanding £6.6 £6 million for the 21-year-old to commit to a new contract plus 10% of any future transfer fee. Fiorentino are reluctant to cave to those demands and would rather sell now rather than let him enter the final 12 months of his contract in the summer. And Arsenal sense an opportunity. Arthur Milo Arsenal are set for further talks with Juventus over a loan move for Arthur as they look to address their midfield crisis. Goal Italia say Arsenal are due to meet Juventus early this week in an effort to thrash out an agreement. Arthur, who has 21 caps for Brazil, joined Juventus from Barcelona for an initial fee of £66 million in 2020, but he has made just four starts in all competitions this season and is said to be keen on a move to Arsenal. Sky Italia claimed Juventus want Thomas Partey as part of the deal, though it is unlikely would be willing to let the Ghana midfielder leave. Simon Collings has also revealed that a possible loan move for Arthur remains on the cards, but Juventus are unwilling to let the Brazilian leave right now. The club are reluctant to be left short in the midfield area and Aaron Ramsey is more likely to leave at this moment in Arthur time. Arthur is thought to be keen on a move to Arsenal and the chance to play in England. Bruno Gimaris while Arsenal, along Everton and Newcastle United, are interested in a move for the Lion midfielder, it is difficult to imagine a scenario in which the Brazilian leaves his club mid-season. Simon Collings has previously revealed that interested parties are yet to make a formal offer for the defensive midfielder and that the League One outfit value him as high as £40 million. Despite some financial pressure, Lyon are seemingly able to hold firm this month, however. Indeed, a summer move looks far more likely. Yauri Tielman's Brendan Rodgers has admitted that Leicester City are starting to consider life without the Belgian midfielder amid his links to Arsenal. The 24-year-old is fast approaching the final year of his contract and Rodgers revealed last week he understood the player's position. You always have to plan for life without players, that is key. You always have to be looking ahead, that's important, said Rodgers. Yauri is at an age and at a stage in his contract where he has to ensure he looks at every option. I would love it to be here at Leicester, that is natural, but I understand it's a very short career. Jorginho Wijnaldum 12 months ago, the idea of Arsenal signing Jorginho Wijnaldum would have been hard to believe. An ever-present in the Liverpool side to have conquered both England and Europe under Jurgen Klopp, the Dutchman might be on the wrong of 30, but could perhaps complement the youth in Arteta's team nicely. Former Liverpool icon Ian Rush recently backed Wijnaldum, who is thought to be unhappy with life at PSG, for a move to the Emirates Stadium. He's not playing regularly in Paris, but he'd definitely get more game time at Arsenal. They could use a bit of experience to complement what is already a good but young side. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang slightly bizarre suggestions Newcastle United could look to approach Arsenal over a potential deal for their ousted captain appear to have evaporated of late. Still, something does need to be done about the Aubameyang situation. Extremely highly paid, his return from the Africa Cup of Nations will only lead to more questions for Arteta, even if his team look to be doing just fine without the forward. According to Italian outlet Tata Mercato, Juventus have added the former Borussia Dortmund star to their list of potential options to replace the injured Federico Chiesa.
Pablo Mary following the signing of Ben White, Pablo Mary has seen his game time significantly cut. The defender has only been afforded three appearances all season, and, according to transfer insider Fabrizio Romano, Mary is set for a lone move to Udinese. Edin Kataya Standard Sports Jack Rosser has already revealed that Crystal Palace are in talks with Arsenal over a potential move from Kataya. Still, progress has yet to have been made on that front, and the forward does appear to be in Arteta's plans as things stand. Whether that's because of a lack of options more anything else, of course, is up for debate. Arsenal may have to bring someone in before letting Kataya leave.